If you are interested in learning more about one of nature's most powerful healers, then this is the video for you. In this video, we're gonna do a deep dive study on the healing crystal turquoise. We're gonna start off with studying how this crystal is formed. Then we're gonna look at its history and law that is associated with it, which is my favorite part. Then of course, we're gonna get on to its healing properties. We're gonna study which chakra is the most associated with it. And then of course, we'll finish with the star sign section. But before we get into the video, please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more crystal and natural living content. Without further ado, let's get into it. So first off, we're gonna start with its form. So turquoise is of course this beautiful, vibrant blue kind of green gemstone and it forms through a fascinating natural process. So this process starts deep underground within fractures and cavities of volcanic and sedentary rocks in desert regions. So here, groundwater rich minerals, things of course like copper, hence the color, aluminium and phosphorus seep through the earth. So when this mineral laden water encounters copper in the rocks, a chemical reaction occurs, leading to of course the formation of turquoise. As we've said, copper is absolutely key to turquoise distinctive color. So as the copper rich waters react with aluminium and phosphorus, it basically crystallizes into hydrated copper aluminium phosphate. Poor, <laughs> that's a word. The core component of turquoise. So the color can vary based on temperature and pH levels. So the lower the temperatures and the slightly more acidic conditions create more of an intense blue, while higher temperatures can produce the more greenish shades because of the iron impurities in them. So turquoise of course forms over millions of years as do all of our lovely crystals. They grow layer by layer within the rock. It's often found in arid regions with volcanic activity of course, such as places like the Southwestern US, Iran and Egypt. So miners extract the stone from these ancient deposits and carefully separate it from the surrounding rock. Once it has been extracted, the rough stones are then cut and polished and reveal these beautiful, unique patterns and colors. The specimens I have here, so this is a turquoise bracelet of mine, which I absolutely adore. Turquoise is actually one of my favorite crystals to wear. I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I have it in a ring form here as well. I don't know if that's gonna focus. I hope, I hope that does. <laughs> so let's get on, get on to the good stuff and the history. So turquoise has a rich history and an array of lore that spans cultures and centuries, making it one of the most storied gemstones actually in human history. So in ancient Egypt, turquoise was a symbol of protection and power. So pharaohs and nobility adorned themselves with turquoise jewelry, believing it could ward off evil and bring good fortune to them. The stone was often inlaid in everything from rings to elaborate burial masks, and most famously in the iconic funerary mask of King Tutankhamun. The Egyptians sourced their turquoise from the Shine Peninsula, referring to it as the Pharaohs, I think, I am not Egyptian, <laughs> meaning victorious. The Persians who mined turquoise from what is now Iran revered the stone for its beauty and believed it could protect the wearer again from unnatural death. So they would decorate everything from daggers to the domes of palaces with turquoise. They would embed the stone deeply into things like their culture and their art, of course. So Persian turquoise is known for its intense blue color and it became highly sought after and it was traded among ancient trade routes between Europe and Asia. Whereas over in the Americas, turquoise holds a special place in the history and spirituality of the Native American tribes. The stone was considered sacred and was often used in ceremonies and as a medium for artistic expression. So these people's tribes used turquoise in intricate jewelry, mosaics and amulets, believing it could connect to the earth and sky and bring protection, health and abundance. They also crafted beautiful turquoise inlaid pieces to trade with settlers, cementing turquoise as a valuable commodity. Throughout history, turquoise has been associated with various different healing properties and protective powers, of, of course, which we will get more onto in a second. The ancient healers believed it could cure ailments of the eye, alleviating stomach issues, and even protect against things like falls and tumbles too. Sailors would often carry turquoise to guard against shipwrecks, while warriors wore it into battle for protection. The stone was thought to change color to warn the wearer of impending danger or illness, adding to its very mystical reputation. So now, of course, we are on to the healing properties. So turquoise stands as one of nature's most efficient healers, offering profound solace for the spirit and well-being for the body. 
Its presence benefits overall mood and emotion by providing a delicate balance that includes a deep sense of serenity and peace. When it is held or worn, turquoise works to restore depleted vitality, lifting sagging spirits with its gentle but powerful energy. The stone excels in relieving stress and helps to bring focus back to the heart's centre and promotes an inner calm that is both refreshing and enduring. Turquoise's empathetic nature makes it a master of emotional equilibrium. It aids in recognising the causes of happiness and also unhappiness, and guides individuals towards mastering these emotional states. By creating this kind of inner recognition, turquoise encourages personal growth and emotional intelligence, of course, and makes it a really valuable companion on the journey towards a more balanced and fulfilled life. As a stone of purification, turquoise dispels negative energies and it clears electromagnetic smog from the surrounding environment. Th therefore, it creates this kind of clean and harmonious space around you. This purifying quality promotes self-realization and helps in creative problem solving, calming the nerves, and also enhancing your own focus, particularly if you're doing something like public speaking, for example, in work. For those struggling with mood swings or perhaps they're self-sabotaging a little bit, Turquoise offers a more stabilizing influence and helps to dissolve negative attitudes and empowers individuals to overcome feelings of oppression or even prejudice. It has a very soothing effect, which extends to practical concerns as well, such as easing things actually like jet lag. So this would be a great stone to travel with and it helps to alleviate fears of flying or just traveling in general. Tibetan turquoise in particular is renowned for its ability to calm hysteria, making it an, an, an excellent anti-hysteria stone. It's especially beneficial for those prone to overreacting perhaps to situations and provides a sense of calm and stability. Additionally, of course, it helps those with narcissistic tendencies too, and it helps them to kind of look beyond their own needs and to be more open to the perspective of other people, creating more empathy and more understanding too. Now we're gonna look at the chakras. So turquoise is associated with the throat chakra and the heart chakra. So here is a brief overview of how it interacts with each of these. Starting off with the throat chakra, turquoise helps to open, balance, and clear the throat chakra, enhancing your own ability to communicate. Because of course the throat is associated with communication. It helps you to communicate clearly and truthfully. It also aids in expressing thoughts and emotions effectively and confidently too. So wearing or perhaps meditating with turquoise can help overcome communication blocks and encourages honest dialogue and fosters a deeper sense of personal truth. Then we have the heart chakra. So while turquoise is primarily associated with the, with the throat chakra, it also kind of benefits for the heart chakra too. So it promotes emotional balance, compassion, and a sense of calm, which is obvious from you know, its beautiful colorways. Turquoise can help heal emotional wounds, foster loving and compassionate relationships, and brings a sense of peace and tranquility to the heart. Turquoise is traditionally associated with three star signs due to its energy and characteristics. So here are the primary star signs that are linked with it. First off, starting of course with Sagittarius because turquoise is actually the birthstone for December. So Sagittarius runs from November the 22nd to December the 21st and turquoise can enhance communication and help Sagittarians to express themselves more clearly. It also provides a calming influence, helping them to balance their sometimes restless and rather impulsive nature. Next up is Pisces from February the 19th to March the 20th. So turquoise supports Pisceans by enhancing their intuition and helping them to communicate their feelings more effectively. It also offers protection and grounding, which can be really beneficial for this often kind of dreamy and rather sensitive sign. Then we have Aquarius. So Aquarius is from January the 20th to February the 18th. So for Aquarians, turquoise can stimulate creative problem solving and innovative thinking. It helps them to articulate their visions and ideas and aligns their intellectual pursuits with their communication abilities. These associations are based on the energetic properties of turquoise and how they complement typical characteristics and needs of these star signs. Turquoise's ability to promote clear communication, emotional balance and intuition makes it particularly beneficial for Sagittarius, Pisces and Aquarius. So there we have it. There is everything you could ever possibly want to know <laughs> about turquoise. Turquoise is one of my favorite, favorite crystals. I think it is 
oh, it's just such a beautiful color. It's absolutely stunning. It reminds me of summer. It reminds me of the like the Mediterranean Sea or something like that. It's beautiful. Definitely one of my favorites and definitely something that I have always been drawn to like always throughout my life. I absolutely love it. I wear it particularly in jewelry. I do have a lot of pieces of jewelry and I feel like it's one of those things that because it's quite bright and vibrant, when people notice you wearing it, you then get gifted it a lot. <laughs> so a lot of these are presents, which is wonderful. I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> but yes, I absolutely love turquoise. If you did enjoy this video, I recommend you watch the Blue Lace Agite and perhaps the Labradorite video as well. If you're interested in learning more about kind of blue throat chakra based crystals, they would definitely be a good watch for you. If you have any questions or any recommendations, are there any crystals you want me to look into next? Please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to give me a quick follow on over on Instagram if you wanna see what I get up to on a daily basis and you want to touch base more with my kind of natural living lifestyle content, then follow me down there. But apart from that, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Stay happy and blessed be.